Hello Abacus user, welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. In today's session we are going to do a contact analysis in Abacus standard. So on, on my, particular to my screen what you are seeing is a mechanical uh, switch part and uh, their upper body getting in contact with this. So this is a mechanical switch, on off switch. So you push it from the top then it get connected to the bottom surface and uh, what uh, results you are seeing is a contact pressure so how the contact pressure is distributed over a surface so let's uh, get into a problem definition so so uh, this particular problem is a is a segment of electrical contact switch steel body so upper body we are going to give a prescribed displacement so this is on off switch so on the top we are going to give a prescribed displacement of 1.5 millimeter so the upper part will move down and get in contact with the bottom flat uh, surface. This particular two edges we are going to fix in all degree of freedom. So it will be end caster position at the two edge. The, the material property will be linear elastic property 210 e power 0 3 MPa and the poison ratio will be 0.3. So this is a typo it will be 0.3. The units we are going to use is a ton millimeter newton and second. So let's get started uh, so let's get started so I'm going to say new so we'll quickly create a geometry switch 3d deformable shell extrusion and then we'll give approximate size 50 I'll quickly sketch it So we are done, uh, done with sketching, we will just quickly check the dimensions. So this is a 2, 2 up and 2 forward, 4 forward and down by 0. So I am just going to check this dimension. So I need to modify this dimension to 10 and I am going to check this dimension, this will be 20. So we are now done. So we will extrude this by depth of 2 millimeter. So we have created the part now. Now before moving to material assignment or the section property assignment, since the this particular surface is going to get in contact with the bottom surface, so we are going to do some geometrical splitting for contact refinement. So we want to get a good fine mesh in contact region and then bit a coarse mesh other than a contact region. So I'm going to split it so face and then using a project line so I select the face and then you select the edge done create partition so so you can see now uh, the partition is created so it is splitted now this surface is splitted around this projected edge so we'll create metal property so mechanical elastic we are going to create steel metal property 210 e power 0 3 will give poison's ratio will create a section section 1 homogeneous we're going to give 0 0.15 millimeter we'll assign this to particular part so we're going to assign all these to whole body so I selected the whole body and then I assign it so it will just change it color uh, we'll going to create an instant so we'll create instant switch it will be dependent so mesh on part instant then we are going to create a step so you give some name switch contact example static general so we are going to put NL jam on because of large displacement problem don't touch this automatic stabilization we are going to come up with next video where we can tell you what is the automatic stabilization where to use uh, increment we are going to start with small increment of 0 0.01 uh, we started 0 0.01 means whatever boundary condition you give it will start with 0 0.01 multiply by whatever displacement 1.5 so that will be the initial displacement applied minimum 1e e power 0 pi, 0 0.05 and the maximum is 1e e. increment we are putting 100 so we are done that we will quickly create a boundary conditions so the first boundary condition is the end caster at the top so 
so continue you select that age you put end caster then next boundary condition is again end caster at the bottom so you select that end caster and then one particular thing we are going to do is uh, displacement so that is the third boundary condition so we are going to switch from the displacement rotation now guys all if you see all these three boundary condition we are given inside the step now it doesn't uh, the third boundary condition should be inside the step the first two can be inside the initial stage but it is okay it doesn't matter whether it's inside the step or it's a uh, uh, before the steps if it is a before the step it is a initial condition so we are going to put uh, the boundary condition condition inside the step so switch contact problem displacement we are going to do we are going to select that particular age and then then we want it to minus 1.5 in a bottom direction so now we created all three boundary condition we created step will create uh, interaction property contact so we are going to give friction penalty based friction 0.3 and uh, we'll create before we create a surface uh, we'll just check one more thing in we'll go to property model and we'll just see uh, how is the element normal so right now you see the purple is at the top that means the normal is this particular top body normal is downside and the bottom flat surface normal is upside so you the normal uh, both normal s pos is facing towards each other so this is exactly we want for uh, contact analysis the normal should be facing towards each other if normal is not facing towards each other whatever surface you have created then the contact will not able to detect if normal is not facing towards each other so we are going to create a contact so surface to surface so master surface is top now the the part which is going to move we are going to select as a master surface so there are some thumb rules which one will be the master and which will be slave so if you can check our uh, contact or you of uh, uh, abacus video you will understand so we are the moving body we are going to um, select as a master and then 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 it's asking what is the side of shell uh, shell normal so i am going to select a brown so I'm going to select now slave surface and then I, I'm also going to select a brown discretion method I'm going to go to node to surface so we've done that now we define interaction between these two now we'll uh, move to meshing model so meshing model will select the element type so now if you see if I go to meshing model element type it give error dependent part distance cannot be edited or the assignment so if you looked here we have put object as assembly so once we need to do it in the part so once you to shift to the part now you can define element type so you select whole region done shell so we are going to use a s4r four noted uh, shell element then we'll just uh, go to some of the controls meshing controls so meshing control we are going because we want a structural cord mesh so cord mesh structural minimum mesh transition now go to seed select the age so this this and this age we are going to select so by number we are seeing we want uh, quite a fine mesh there so we are putting 24 elements here and then we are selecting this and this and uh, by mesh we are putting something like 12 element here and uh, we'll select uh, this and this and this all will select and then we'll just put some by size will give so point three we are going to do or we're going to do a point two 
so we define some mesh transition here so we'll just go and then 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 go to a part so we'll just go and then go to mesh and then select a part and then say yes so you get a mesh part now we can quickly create a job job one continue okay and then we'll say submit for run so we have submitted created job one submitted for the run so just wait for results so job is completed so right now on my screen what you are seeing is a contact pressure and then how the contact pressure is distributing ac across the thickness so you see a quite a bit contact pressure at the edge and then then uh, at the center it is uh, not that high so this is what we are done so now guys uh, you have seen this contact pressure now we'll do one more exercise we'll just quickly refine this edge refine this mesh so and then we'll rerun it again so I'll go to now mesh model so I'm going to make this quite a bit fine now and then we'll say 40 element or 42 earlier it was 24 so then we'll say mesh yes so it's look quite fine mesh we'll also change bit of this mesh so So instead of 20 we'll put so mesh part so now the master has become quite fine so we'll just just further mesh this 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 further fine because master should be coarse so we are going to put some 54 So now, now you see quite a bit good mesh, so quite fine mesh in contact region and then coarse mesh here. So we'll run this. So now we are going to submit this now. So right now we are submitted with a quite a bit fine mesh. So we'll just wait for results. So now analysis is done. You can see here the job one complete so I am loading the results so, so now we'll see results for the last increment when the full displacement is applied and uh, we are going to check now contact pressure so now you guys you can see here how the contact pressure is also sensitive now if you recall earlier the contact pressure was something peak contact pressure at 0.4 but once you do, do quite a bit mesh refinement you can see it has moved to 1.13 MPa so this is how the mechanical switch and for this particular part design mechanical switch uh, mechanical switch industry they are very particular about the contact pressure so based on this contact pressure they are going to uh, get a comfort of a finger so um, you learn how the mesh refinement also change the uh, contact pressure so once you do a couple of refinement then you can see there is no change in this value contact pressure and that is the optimum mesh for this contact problem so guys we are done with this this learning video on the uh, the contact side on a mechanical switch so i hope you learn uh, some uh, part in this uh, contact stuff so go ahead and then practice this session and guys we are uh, um, uh, we are this doing this non-profit project so we need a lot of your support so don't forget us to subscribe us or like us on the youtube so go ahead and enjoy this video thanks bye bye